Hey guys, so I recently made a video on how to participate in the Polkadot crowd loans, but if you want to participate, you're going to need to install the Polkadot JS wallet extension. So this is going to be a quick tutorial video on how you can do that. Okay, so this is kind of like a little step-by-step -step in how to supply your Polkadot to the crowd loans. So step one, you need to install the Polkadot.js wallet. Step two, you need to send your uh, Polkadot to that JS wallet. Then you need to supply your Polkadot to the crowd loan and in return, you receive airdrops to your JS wallet. So having the wallet is an integral part of this whole entire process. So the crowd loans are where you're essentially voting with your Polkadot. You're voting on the projects that you want to see on the parachain. And in return, if those projects win that slot, you get rewarded in those native tokens. So it's kind of like a win-win. You get to see your project on the power chain and also you're getting rewarded in those native tokens. If you want any more information about this and how to participate, you can watch my latest video on how to participate in the Polkadot power chain auctions. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the polkadot.js.org website. The link for this is in the description below. So just make sure that you're using the right link because there are a lot of elaborate scams out there. I got scammed. Um, through an NFT website the other week. So I was using a faulty link. People do this, so just be careful. Once you're on this website, you're gonna go to polkadot.js.org slash extension, and you're gonna go download for Chrome or download for Firefox or for Brave or whatever it might be. I'm actually using Chrome right now, just for this example. And how you know that this is the right download is because it'll usually have like hundreds of thousands of people that have downloaded this particular uh, app. So this is what you want. So you're going to go add to Chrome, add extension, and then you're going to wait for that to download. Okay. So once that's downloaded, you want to click the little puzzle piece in the corner of your browser, and you're going to go pin Polkadot.js extension. And what that will do, that will pin the wallet to your browser. Okay. So then you're going to open up the wallet and you're going to get like a little welcome message that says, you know, we do not send any clicks, page views, or events to central server. We do not use any trackers or analytics. We do not collect keys, addresses, or any information. Your information never leaves this machine. We are not in the information collection business, even anonymized. You're gonna understand all that, hopefully. Click understand. Then you're gonna click the plus button, which is gonna generate a 12 word seed phrase, and this is access to your wallet. So I highly recommend grabbing a piece of paper, writing down your 12 word seed phrase on that piece of paper, and putting it somewhere safe. So don't like put in like a word document, like your 12 word seed phrase and then save it under polka dot, 12 word seed phrase. Like <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> there are so many like ways that hackers can come in and just like easily find your seed phrase on your computer and then steal your tokens. So don't do that, write it on a piece of paper. Uh, sometimes some people like save it as an image instead, that, that might be another way to do it. But yeah, don't just have it like very obviously on your computer somewhere. And even if you do want to save it on like, you know, a USB stick and then take it off your computer, that's probably like a better idea. But yeah, just don't have it sitting on your main hardware. So these are my uh, words, my 12 word seed phrases. So, you know, you could hack my, my uh, demonstrated account for this YouTube video if you really wanted to, but there won't be any polka dot in there because this is just to show you guys how it works. Okay, so once you have saved your seed phrase, you're gonna click, I have saved my seed phrase and you're gonna go next step. You wanna make sure that the polka dot relay chain network is selected because this is for the polka dot relay chain. And you wanna like maybe add a name for your wallet and you're gonna enter a password. Then you're going to repeat that password. Okay. Add account. And then here we go. I have my peak DeFi account with my Polkadot address and that is all done. Okay, so we want to come back to the polkadot.js.org link and we want to click this top square here, the apps wallet hosted. And this is going to take us to the portal. So you're going to have to connect. My wallet is already connected to the portal but it's gonna ask you to connect your wallet and it does take a little bit of time to load. So don't worry if it, you know, it takes a few seconds or so to load all the information. But you can see we are now connected. Our wallet is now connected to this portal. And if you click the top left, we can actually see all the kind of parachains and the Kusama relay chain. So if we wanna to connect to Kusama, we can go switch. Just make sure you click the little switch the little pink button in the top corner of that option 
or of that navigation there and it'll load all the information about Kusama. Now you can see I don't have a Kusama account because when I go to accounts, there's no Kusama account here. So we want to go back to Polkadot and we want to go switch. Okay, so our information has loaded. We can see that under accounts here, that our peak DeFi extension is connected. We can see that we have zero transactions and we have a balance of zero dot. Okay, so let's get into funding your Polkadot extension wallet. Now, before I get into it, if you've enjoyed this video, if you found it valuable, please don't hesitate to smash the like button. Give us a subscribe. It really helps the channel out. We want to provide a lot of useful knowledge to you guys and help you on your cryptocurrency journey. So I'm actually going to fund my Polkadot extension wallet, my real Polkadot extension wallet, not the fake one that I've made for this tutorial video, but my real one with some Polkadot because I want to provide some Polkadot to a crowd loan. So firstly, you're going to go back to the Substrate portal and you're going to click the little icon next to your account and this will copy your address onto the clipboard. Then I'm going to go back to the withdrawal address area. I'm going to paste that address into the withdrawal address area and I'm going to select 100% of my uh, polka dot, which is obviously not all of my polka dot. It's just a portion of my polka dot that I'm going to be sending. So I'm going to be sending two polka dots to this address. I'm going to click withdraw and that's going to go through to my extension wallet. Okay, just some final things to keep in mind when you're downloading this polka dot extension wallet. Always keep your seed phrase somewhere safe. I highly recommend writing it down, as I said before, or keeping that seed phrase off your main hard drive. So off your main computer, put it on a USB and, and take it off the actual computer, laptop, whatever you're using. Make sure that you use the correct link and the correct link is in the description below, the polkadot.js.org. Make sure that you're on the Polkadot relay chain. If you're on the Kusama chain or whatever, it's not going to work. So you need to make sure that you're on the Polkadot Relay chain. Uh, I wish everybody the best of luck with these crowd loans. I'm so excited to see what projects end up on the parachain. And yeah, I hope to see you next time.